Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you be notified when I drop that heat, this video was sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video was sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we all from. now, Demetrius Boo Boo Andre, Went into the ring on the 18th of January and looked good against uh, Wolverine, also known as Arthur Akavov. And Demetrius Andre went in there and he did his thing. Did his thing, looked good, um, as expected. Trap fight, but he didn't allow for it to be a trap. And just seeing Demetrius Andre busy, is impressive anybody that knows demetrius andre knows that he's going through a lot of promotional issues business issues and things like that that's really uh stagnated his career and for demetrius andre to be active in the ring is it's great to see because he's a hell of a talent now i didn't take anything out of the fight against arta akavov because i wasn't expecting anything less than what he did but after the fight, he called out Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. And I thought that was an interesting call out because I thought quite naturally he would just call out Canelo Alvarez. Despite Canelo Alvarez having a fight with Danny Jacobs, May 4th. I thought Demetrius Andre would take the time, you know, take the air time and say, hey, listen, I want the cash cow. I want Canelo Alvarez. That would have been the easy thing to do. He could have just flat out said, I want the winner of Canelo Alvarez and Danny Jacobs. That would have been the easy thing to do. He could have even came out and said, I want Jamal Charlo. Like, we got past history. I want that smoke. That's less likely because of the promotional ties, but he could have said that. And I would have been like, okay, cool. That's, that's personal. But he came out and called out Triple G. Gennady Golovkin and I'm like ooh I'm like I wasn't expecting that that's 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 some good shit right there I don't know if it was strategic or he really want that smoke with Gennady Golovkin but great call out because Triple G ain't got shit to do right now <laughs> you know what I'm saying Triple G ain't got shit to do he don't have a TV network He's not signed on to anybody right now. He's just a free agent as far as network networks is concerned. Al Heyman was trying to get him. Hasn't happened. The zone was trying to get him. Hasn't happened yet. And Triple G is fair game pretty much for anybody at this point. Because he has nothing to do. So if Andre like... Hey, Triple G, I got a belt. Come get this free shot. Come get this free smoke. Hey, I'm I'm looking for a Triple G response on this one. I'm looking for a Triple G response on this one. And Andre got the belt. Andre has some momentum. And he's calling out the guy that a lot of people think beat Canelo Alvarez twice in Triple G. Andre gets this fight against Triple G. That's the that's the career defining fight for Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. That's the career defining fight, and actually, it's a good fight for Triple G. This is a good fight for Triple G. Now, scheme wise, it's not a good fight for Triple G. Scheme wise, it's not a good fight for Triple G. It's a southpaw with power, with speed. And he's crafty on top of that. Now, the main thing with a Triple G opponent is real simple. Can you take Triple G's shot? If you could take his shot, then that's good for you. But if you can't take his shot, you he going to get you up out of there. 
point blank period. And I think Triple G would be the favorite in that fight against Demetrius Andre. But I think that's close to a 50 50 fight. Now, I know some people going to bark at me in the comment section for saying that. But scheme-wise, hell yeah, I think this close to a 50-50 fight. I would give Triple G the slight edge because he got some life-changing type power. He got some life-changing type power. You know what I'm saying? When Mike Tyson was like, everybody got a game plan, so you get punched in the mouth. Triple G is the epitome of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And people forget that because he's had two fights with Canelo Alvarez and um, – Canelo Alvarez, he has a chin made of a super granite. You know what I'm saying? And people forget how powerful Triple G actually is. But this is a great call out by Demetrius Andre. I hope this fight happens. Demetrius Andre and Triple G. It definitely got the G5 Jeff TV stamp of approval. And I hope it happens. Whether it's on uh, the zone, well, it will have to be on the zone. Because uh, that's where Demetrius Andre is signed on to. And I'm pretty sure Triple G was signed on to the zone probably for that particular fight. Because if he beats Demetrius Andre and gets a belt at 160, then he's right back in play for another Canelo fight. At the end of the day, it just makes his uh, bargaining a little bit better if he's trying to get that uh, trilogy with Canelo Alvarez. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.